In this lecture, let's try to highlight the matching text in jQuery UI's autocomplete widget. So, this is an autocomplete widget I have created. I have created an array called country with country names and I have also added an input element with ID countries and I have specified hash countries means this input element dot autocomplete and I have specified source to be this array that is country. So as of now if I enter A it will display all the country names that contain the character anywhere in the name. So this does not start with A still it will be displayed because all these names contain the character entered. Suppose I enter N then only three are displayed because A and N comes together in these three country names, Angola, Germany and Switzerland. Now our requirement is when I enter something, the matching text in this list should be highlighted in some way. That is, if I enter B, in this one, this B should be highlighted. In this one, this B and this B should be highlighted. And here this B should be highlighted. So we are going to implement that. For that we are going to use an extension point called render item. So if you have a look at the official website of jQuery UI and go to autocomplete. Here you could see possible options, methods, events and extension points. So this render item can be used to change or to customize the way we want the items in the list. So this is renter item. So we are going to call this renter item which is a method actually that controls the creation of each option in the widgets menu. So the menu means what is displayed when we enter here. This is the items in the list. So we can use renter item method to control the appearance of these items. So here this will have ul and item where ul is the unordered list to which we need to append the li element okay and item has two properties label and value label is a string to display and value is the value to be inserted into the input okay so we are going to make use of this render item to highlight the matching text now as we are going to customize the items we need to actually retrieve an instance of this autocomplete widget. So for that we can use dot data and within this we need to specify UI autocomplete. So this data method is used to retrieve an instance of the widget. Here the widget is autocomplete. So we need to specify the name of the widget as the key here. So data UI autocomplete means it will retrieve an instance of this autocomplete widget and now we can write the available method. So here we are going to use dot underscore render item right and we need to define the function okay and this function has two parameters as we have seen here ul and item so we can specify ul comma item and within this we need to write our code now what i am going to do is i am going to create a regular expression object so where let me specify expression as new reg exp and what I am going to do is I will be searching the term entered in this within the matching items and I will make the required replacement. So here how I can get the value entered in this text box we can get it using this dot term which means the value entered in the text and I want to look for this text repeatedly within the matching items. So I am going for a G and I also want to check regardless of the case. That is I want to go for a case insensitive search. So I am specifying I. This is just part of regular expression. This is nothing related with jQuery UI in fact. I am creating a regular expression object and I want to get the term that is the value entered inside this text box that is this dot term and g means I don't want to stop even if just one match is found 
and I also want to go for a case insensitive search. So this is our regular expression. Now let me create another variable where answer and what I am going to do is I am going to check the item that is this will give us the item dot label means the text we want to display dot replace I want to replace the expression means if it is matching with the highlighting text so let me specify span style let me specify the style like font weight to be bold and also the color to be say red let me close this and I will explain it I want to replace the this dot term okay and let me close this span I know it is a bit confusing let me explain it once again here what we are doing is we are trying to find a match and if a match is found I want to replace that one with this highlight so I have created a regular expression with this dot term which is the text entered in the text box and I want to go for repeated search and also case insensitive search that is why I have specified GI here and I want to check item dot label means item will be an object as we have seen here item is the object and label means that is a string to be displayed okay so item dot label dot replace I want to replace by checking this expression and if it finds a match I want to replace the term that is the text inside this one so in this case suppose I enter a there will be two matches so this and this so I want to replace these two letters with span style font weight bold means it will be in bold characters and color red and the value should be this dot term okay now what should I do I want to append this to the unordered list that is to this one so let me specify return dollar li okay instead of 4 it should be dollar then I want to append this to our ul okay so dot append to ul okay and in between I want to have this items right so within the li the values should be this one so here I can specify dot append what should be appended we need to append a then plus I want to append answer because now it will be this value again I want to close a so it will be something like a hyperlink right so let's save and refresh let me enter a see the text is now highlighted if I enter B see it is Cambodia Zimbabwe Liberia and the B is highlighted suppose I specify G see Angola Germany and United Kingdom so here we have done the basic highlighting of text using render item which is an extension point in fact and this is a method and it has two parameters ul and item item dot label and item dot value will give the string that should be displayed and also the value should be entered and this ul is the unordered list now we have created a regular expression and using this we have replaced all the matches with a span style font weight bold and color red and finally we are appending this li with a within that that is hyperlinks and we have added this answer to that and we have finally appended it to this ul so we are getting the output now suppose i enter a here this first character is actually needs to be in capitals but it has been displayed in small letters why because here we have specified this dot term so as i have entered small letter a we are getting everywhere small letters suppose I enter a see all these are displayed in capitals because here we are doing a case insensitive search so it will find all the a's whether it is capitals or not capital but when it comes here 
we have specified this dot term this dot term is the text entered inside this so whenever we enter small letter a this also becomes small letter in fact it should be in capitals right suppose i enter c this becomes small letters if i enter capital c it will be capital if i enter capital a everything will be capital so if i want to change that what we can do we can actually use another variable called result and i am going to use the execute function of the regular expression so where result equals i can specify expression dot exec that is the name of the method and within this i need to specify what should be searched item dot label okay now we can check the index of the matching letter that is if result dot index equal equal zero means there is a match in the very first character so in that case what we can do is we can split our text into first character and then the remaining characters and for the first character we can enter capitals and for the remaining characters we can enter small letters so let me create where first equals how i can get i can specify item dot label dot character at zero which will give the first character and if i specify where remaining here i'm going to use the slice method so item dot label dot slice one comma item dot label dot length which means it will return the string that starts from the first index till the length of the string so the remaining characters will be collected i will explain it once again what we have done here is that we are executing the method to check where the match is found so if the match is found at the very first character that is result dot index is zero i am going to split our label into two sections that is the first character and the remaining characters so to get the first character i am using the character at method that is a javascript method in fact and for getting the remaining characters that is except the first character i am using the slice method for slice method i am specifying the starting and ending position starting is 1 because index always starts from 0 and item dot label dot length means it will be the end so first and remaining we have collected into two variables now what we need to do in case of first we need to replace this with this dot term dot two upper case and for the remaining we need to make it lower case so let me have another variable where first one and let me specify first dot let me copy this okay this is the same thing we want to do first dot replace span style font weight bold and color red and here i'm going to call two upper case okay so this first character will be converted into upper case and we need to do it for remaining as well so where remaining 1 equals remaining dot replace let me paste it here again and here i want to convert it into two lower case okay now this will be converted into lower case now this is for the result dot index equal equal 0 that is if there is a match for the very first character if there is no match what we can do we can just do this one and here we can specify two lower case because there is no match for the first character means the matches for only the remaining letter so they should be displayed in lower case so here we have specified where answer let me specify where answer here okay and inside this we actually need to concatenate first one and remaining one so here let me concatenate first one plus remaining one hope you understand this this is just 
to make sure that capitals are displayed in capitals itself and small letters are displayed in small letters regardless of the case of the character entered inside this text box previously as we have seen when i entered a we got all the matching characters in small letter a as we have entered small letters but here it was actually expected to be a capitals right because this is a first letter and also here we have entered all the first characters in capitals and if i enter capital a we were getting all the matching characters in capitals instead of first characters being capitals and remaining matching characters being small letters so to avoid that what we have done is we have executed this regular expression and if the match is at the very first character we we'll split it into two strings that is the first character at the first variable and the remaining characters in the remaining variable so in the case of first we need to make the matching character to upper case and in case of remaining we need to make it lower case and this will be having an else that is there is no match in the first character that is suppose i enter a in case of cambodia or germany there is no match for the first character so in that case these letters to be in small letters even if the person enters the value in capitals this a and this a should be in small letters this a and also this a should be in small letter so here we have just specified two lower case and this is the answer actually so here we need to just concatenate first one and remaining one why because this first one contains only the first character and the remaining one actually contains the remaining characters now let's see whether we are getting the output as we expect let me refresh let me enter small letter a c this one is now capitals and all remaining are small letters suppose i enter capital a still this only is displayed in capital letters and all these are displayed in small letters now if i enter b c then c previously it was displayed in small letter c now it is displayed correctly suppose i enter g it is displayed correctly capital g still the output is correct so in this lecture we have seen how we can highlight the matching text using render item which is a method and it is actually an extension point and we have actually customized the appearance of the items and as we have to retrieve the instance we have used the data method and as the key we have specified the name of the widget and we have to specify it like this ui hyphen the name of the widget so hope you understand this and this will be useful when you have to customize the look of your menu items that is the items displayed in the menu and you can highlight the matching text as you want suppose you want to change the color or if you want to add some underline you can do it within this style here we have specified font weight to be bold and color to be red if you want you can change the color and also increase the font size you can do all the stylings as you want so in this lecture we have seen how to highlight the matching text in jquery ui's auto complete widget